Hi everyone, my name is Mark Hemmings. I'm an adventure and travel photographer and I'm really thrilled to give to you a review of what I think could be the best camera bag in the world. It's by Wotencraft and it's called the Pilot. Now, let me just give you a little view of this bag here. I have it fully loaded. It has all of my gear that I need for a full day of waterfall and adventure photography. So this is the side view. Now down here I have, it's actually a foldable chair. It's not part of the Wotencraft bag, but I just wanted to show you what I like to add to the bottom part. And this is the view that uh, you'll see from behind. And of course I have my trusty tripod here. So we'll go back to my studio just because it'll be easier to lay everything out and you'll be able to see exactly what I like to pack inside my Wotencraft Pilot. Okay, so we're now in a nice warm environment and I'm really excited to go through all the features of the Pilot. Now at the very bottom, we have my foldable chair. Now, of course, you can attach anything of yours to the bottom of this bag to make it even more uh, advantageous for really long photo shoots. Now, of course, this doesn't come with the pilot, but I just wanted to be able to show you how you can attach extra elements to the bottom of this bag. Okay, so this bottom section of the pilot is called the Fighter 3 Rider Bag. And the Rider Bag actually works as a camera bag or any type of bag in and of itself. However, what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna show you how easy it is to attach something else to the bottom of the rider bag if you so desire. So all we need to do is simply detach this bottom part and it's that easy. Now it's a clip which makes, uh, you know, using this, putting it on and off, super, super simple. And I'll show you this in detail in one second. So we're just gonna pull this off and then the bottom rider section is free in order to add anything that you want. So for example, for this foldable chair that I like to use, uh, it was just simply using its own strap and that's it. However, the nice thing is, is that you can add with these loops anything that you want to the bottom of the rider bag. Okay, so let's take a look at the other section here. Now, let's just say that you want to get rid of the rider bag altogether because you don't need it. Well, no problem. On this side, it's a really easy to use clip system. So we're just going to unclip. And then what you do is you simply pull this clip like so. And this one, we just open it up a little bit. And here we go. And the rider bag is completely separated. So at the bottom, as you can see, we have a loop here, a loop here, and of course the other type of loop here, and this is what holds the rider bag together. Now this clever loop system plus the clip will keep this rider bag completely stable and you will never have a problem with it falling off or worrying about it falling off. Okay, so next up is the Fighter One accessory pouch, which I think is really cool. It adds a lot of functionality to the pilot and it also has a really interesting clip system. And it is so easy to clip and unclip. Let me just show you here. We're going to remove the top part of the uh, Fighter One. And let me just show you that again. So we have this really cool clip system. It goes into this loop and it's easy as this. Clipped, it's done. Now, what about the bottom section in order to get the Fighter One accessory bag off? Well, it's simple, same thing. We're with two fingers, we're just gonna clip and we're gonna do, we'll just pull it out of the loop. We're gonna do another clip and pull it out of the loop. And here we go. And now th this loop system, take a look at this. It's clip and we're done. Clip at the very bottom, clip, and then unclip, like I said, two fingers and it's done. And this is a really interesting design. It's something I've never seen on a camera bag before. Okay, so now the Fighter 2 travel pouch. And this is really cool. Take a look at this. So first of all, we're gonna open up the main clips here to get to what's called the Fighter 2. And we're gonna open up these two clips. And what is revealed, interestingly, is another pouch altogether. Now this pouch is really great because you can add a lot of clothing, you could add shoes, I guess, 
food, anything you want. Now this has the exact same type of clip system. I'm gonna show you here. Two fingers, we're gonna unclip this and the bottom clip. I'm just gonna pull these two clips out of the loops, just the same as the last time. And of course, we're gonna do the same thing with these on the left. And here we go. Now this bag is absolutely incredible. It is um, hidden, sort of. You can't really see it so much when you have the normal flaps up for the bag, like this. So anyway, what's really cool is the modular aspect of this bag means that we're keep, we can keep getting smaller and smaller depending on what your photo shoot is. So at this point, we're sort of getting down to the main body, but we have a little bit more to go even still. Now take a look at the tripod. This is super simple. It's a normal clip and we're done. That easy. And it's gonna be, it's, I tried this out and I shook the bag when I was you know, climbing, hiking. This is not gonna move. It is completely solid, which is really, really good. Now down at the bottom, we have a little, a little uh, stitched hole, and this would be for rain, which is really good. So this, uh, of course, when you have your tripod in the pouch, rain will get in, and it just leaks out the little hole there, which is quite fantastic. Okay, so let's keep going here. Just uh, for now, I'm going to close this up just to show you a little bit more on the other side, which we haven't got to yet. I'm just gonna flip over like so. Now, of course, we have the standard water bottle case. And of course, put any water bottle that you want, which is really good. This section here, I, I kind of thought when I saw it, it looked like a change purse, but really uh, <laughs> not many people are carrying change these days. It does have the same type of clip. Very, very simple. I really like it. But what I did and I've been doing is putting my AirPods and my keys in this. And uh, it's been really, really effective because when I'm hiking, I don't always want to keep my keys in my pocket, my jeans pocket or whatever. And if I need to get to my AirPods Pro, they're here and they're easily accessible. And actually, I'm, I was always wondering, you know, when I had other bags, how can I keep my keys safe if I'm not completely confident of an exterior accessory? But these clips, I am so impressed with them and I know that this is not going to fall off or rip off my bag, even when I'm going through the woods with a lot of twigs and branches. Now, this is probably my favorite part because when I am traveling through the woods or hiking, if I need to get a shot super quick, I want to have uh, a camera accessible. Now my Nikon, which I'll be showing to you really soon in here, is still easily accessible, very easily accessible. However, uh, if I want to get a really quick sort of point and shoot shot, then my trusty Fujifilm X100V is right by my side. Now it is so accessible, all I have to do is just Unzipper it with my right hand, pull it out, and take the picture. It is so simple. Now this pouch actually doesn't come on the strap like this. It's actually usually put on the side, but I was thinking, you know what? This accessibility with my Fujifilm is really, really convenient. So I was really happy that the modular design was able to have this bag, this accessory bag, pretty much anywhere that you want. For example, let's just say that you didn't have a tall water bottle. Uh, you could still have a water bottle here and you could easily attach this smaller accessory pouch onto the side. And that's how it originally came, if I recall. And there you go. It's really quite simple. Now, I usually like to keep carabiners. They didn't come with a carabiner, but you can place a carabiner just for um, you know, future use anywhere that you want. That's really helpful. And what I also really love, because I do a lot of traveling, well, at least I did before COVID and hopefully soon again, is this is a very solid strap. And I can lift this bag and not worry about anything ripping. It's incredibly solid, but not only that for travelers. See this strap here? 
This strap is absolutely perfect for wheelie suitcases. Now I do use a wheelie suitcase and I often use a second bag and this is perfect. So the wheelie handle fits in like so and you're good to go throughout the airport. Now you already know what the bag looks like when all the modules are put together, but I like to just show you sort of a side profile of what it looks like when it's just the main section. Now, a lot of the times you may only need the main section. However, to have the extra modules is just so good for those extra long hikes in the woods when you're out doing nature photography or landscape. So here is the bag from, I guess you'd say the back of the bag. It also has, of course, a very nice strap here for dealing with extra loads. Now, I think there is an accessory uh, waist strap, which would be very effective as well. Here's the side profile. And the profile would be the front side of the bag. And of course, the side profile on my left. Now, Wotancraft calls this the Fighter 1. This would be the Fighter 2 and the Fighter 3. These are the modular bags. Of course, you have your normal tripod. And by the way, this is a full-size tripod, so don't be afraid of, uh, you know, not being able to take your full-size tripod with you. And the really cool accessory pouch, which does, just barely, but it does hold a X100 series camera by Fujifilm. And the, uh, for lack of a better word, the change purse, which I use for my keys, my AirPods, and any extra accessory, of course, that can go in the bottom of the rider bag. That would be, um, you know, maybe if you're going overnight, you might want a sleeping bag down there. And of course, the main section. And what I'd like to do now is go through every module just to show you how I pack it and how you may be able to benefit from my experience with this bag. Now the Pilot is meant to be a side loader. Now a side loading bag is really convenient because you could be hiking and you have really quick access to your gear. Let me show you. So you would simply just take the strap off the side and go like this. And then you just grab the really strong zipper like this, open the side pouch, and here is my Nikon D780. It's that easy. So let me put the camera back in to show you how simple it is. And as you can see, I have different pouches where I have my extra 50 millimeter lens here, which is really accessible, plus a whole bunch of different accessories. Now inside, I'm gonna show you inside in a second, but I just wanna show you how easy it is to access your gear with a side loading bag, but that's not all. Flip over like this, unzip, and open up this side. We have, of course, the same camera and anything else that I want. So different accessories. Um, yeah, it's incredibly easy to use and very accessible. And even with the extra module bags on, I can still really simply get at my main camera, which is really fabulous. Okay, so let's go for a deep dive into the interior of this main bag. Okay, so let's open up this top section and of course, the inner flap. And let's see what we have going on here. Now, as I said, this is a side loading system where we can access all of our gear on either side and each side has its own divider. However, not only that, but the way that the zipper system works you also have a top loading system. So as you can see, my Nikon D780 is also accessible from the top, which is really great. And now it's true that I would probably never go out in the field if it's just for a day with my laptop, but they do have a great laptop holder for anything up to, I think, 15 inches. And like I said, it's rare that I would take a laptop with me, but if you need to, it is there. So I'll put this back in. And let me open this up for you. Let me open up the entire bag. Now, one thing that I initially saw was that they created the dividers mainly for a side loading system, at least initially. And that was really good because it's exactly what I wanted. However, if you don't want to have the uh, 
these dividers. You just want a normal bag. These all come out. I'll show you how to do that in a second. But first of all, I'm going to take my laptop out. Make it a little bit easier to show you what we have going on. Now on this side, this is where I keep my extra batteries. So I have, um, I don't know, maybe three Fujifilm and uh, three Nikon batteries in here. I have my Japanese green tea. <laughs> Actually, it's not green tea at all. It is uh, microphone equipment. Mics, of course, charger. Maybe I'm going to a cafe or something. After my shoot, I can charge those up if I need to. And of course, we should all be carrying some form of first aid. And this is where I would keep my food. I don't have any food now, obviously, but I just want to show you the ability, uh, the spatial capacity for things like this. And, you know, with food, with, um, you know, the first aid and so on, it's really quite amazing how much we can pack into this. Now let's go to the other side and see what we have here for a setup. Now this is where I would keep my extra Nikon lens. I love the 50 millimeter. It's a wonderful lens. And I keep my ND filters. I usually use quite a few ND filters because a lot of times I'm working with waterfalls. This little unit is just for fun. I use it with my iPhone and it allows me to get, I don't know if you can see this moving, it allows me to get panning shots with my iPhone in a really solid and steady way. Okay, so let's take a look at this divider system. We're gonna open this up. And here is the, the intersection. It's huge and it's actually really sturdy as well, which I'm really grateful for. Now this will be able to withstand getting banged up, going through the airports and, and all that stuff. Now let's just say that we want to take out the uh, dividers. It's very simple. You just grab onto these straps like so. And it's always actually a really good feeling to struggle with Velcro. <laughs> you actually don't want Velcro to be really easily moved. If the Velcro is good and sturdy and good quality, then you know, you'll have to put a little bit of effort into it. So with the Velcro dividers out, you can actually see what this bag looks like. It is really, really high quality. Now the great thing about Wotun Craft as a company is that they're always thinking about interchangeability and usage um, between their products. So this is called the Riker. I've reviewed it before. It's a brilliant bag, very stylish. And I use this for all of my street photography when I'm just going around town. I, of course, it's not set up for, um, you know, backwoods. However, the cool thing is, is that with my Riker, I also have these accessory pouches that anyone can get from the Wotan Craft website. And these accessory pouches, like for example, this one's a really solid zipper. This one is for items that maybe are a little bit larger because it doesn't have a zipper. And this is for anything like you could put memory cards in or whatever you want. But the nice thing is, is that almost any accessory that they sell is interoperable. So look at that. Listen, listen to that solid Velcro. Here's the zippered portion. You can put it here. It's absolutely fantastic and so many different ways that you can adjust pretty much your photography life. Here's the, uh, this little section and the Velcro is good and strong as you can see. Now one thing I forgot to mention is the top handle. Now I already mentioned the side handle but these are really solid and I'd have no problem carrying this as even you know if it's totally loaded with a super heavy camera gear. Okay, so I'd just like to show you the accessories that I am able to pack inside this bag. Now, when I first open the flap, the top flap, this is where I would keep my wallet. I like to keep my wallet a little bit inside closer. And of course, we have the power supply for my laptop, if I do decide to even bring a laptop. And of course, the power cable. Now, this is really interesting, and this should be within every nature, landscape, uh, adventure photographer's toolkit, even if the camera is water resistant. So this is um, rain sleeve by Optech, 
It's just a plastic bag, you know, not, not very expensive at all, but this will keep your gear totally dry with regards to snow and rain. So that, that's sort of in the top section right here. Now the secondary flap or the inner flap, this is where I would keep an extra battery pack. This would be for my iPhone or for anything that I need to charge. Because I wear glasses, this is my glasses case. This is an iPhone, an actual Apple iPhone charger. So let's just say I was out overnight camping, which is sometimes the case. I probably wouldn't need this. I would use this for maybe another accessory, but at least I have two different forms of charging my iPhone in case it runs out. Now, every photographer should always carry extra accessories for the tripod just in case it does get lost. So this uh, clip that would attach your camera to the tripod, they often get lost. Okay, so that's this little zippered section here. And as you can see, it's, uh, there's a, a mesh here that has uh, a lot of breathe breathability, which is wonderful. So I'm gonna zipper this back up. And then we have an inner zipper. Now this inner zipper is where I'd keep, for example, gloves. I'd keep an uh, extra hat, and this would be a, sort of like a, a scarf type thing to keep me warm, especially because it's so cold here in Canada. So, any, and of course, it's actually quite deep, and there's a lot of space in here, which is really, really good. Okay, let's get down to this zippered section. Now, of course, this is part of the, uh, the main compartment. And this is cleverly designed, it's split in two, so if you have smaller items that are a little bit flat, for example, the disinfectant wipes, this is where I keep that on that side, and on this side, I keep a mask if I'm going into a store, that's really useful these days. And this is actually really good as well, of course, all of us should have some form of lens cleaner. And because it's flat, it fits perfectly in this zippered section, which is really great. I absolutely love it. Okay, so that's all of the accessories that I have in the main compartment. So what I'm gonna do is just move this down here. Okay, so up next, I'd like to show you how I utilize the extra bags. Now this is called the Fighter 2 Travel Pouch. And before I open it up, it is really quite impressive. There's, there's loops all throughout this, so you can attach to anything you want. There's loops on the back, and of course we have these incredible Really easy to use clips. So let's open this baby up. Now I always like to be prepared. And what I have for this pouch is my emergency vest. Now this is a warm vest and the reason why it's warm is because it's electric. And uh, because I live in a cold climate and I do overnight camping when I'm out on photo shoots, this vest is powered by an internal battery, and this allows me to just have that extra level of safety if it's you know really super cold at night, or hopefully this won't happen, I fall in the water or something. Anyway, this is my emergency vest, and it warms up and it stays warm for a little while. Now these, of course, are also really useful, and you can buy them anywhere very inexpensive, these are for your knees. And if anyone's ever done any landscape photography, nature, or wildlife, or like what I do, the uh, waterfalls, you definitely want these, they will save your knees. Okay, so I'm gonna put this to the side, and what's next is the rider. This is called the Fighter 3 bag, or the rider, and I'm gonna show you what we have. First of all, this of course does have the same level of attachability with loops up here and of course loops down here, which is really useful. And of course, this is where I placed my foldable chair. Now what I have in here are extra boots and these are because there's been many times when I'm walking along, say for example, photographing waterfalls and what looks like just normal snow turns out to be a little creek. So this is why I always take an extra pair of boots and this rider bag is absolutely perfect for it. And the nice thing is, is it has attachments, it is ready to go as it's normal, as its own bag as well. So let me open this up. And in here I have 
rainproof pants. Now these are really useful if it's raining, obviously. If it's snowing like it was today or earlier today, this is absolutely great. So I use this lower bag for these emergency items to keep me warm and dry. Now let's get to what's called the Fighter One. And I'd like to show you, first of all, the exact same amount, or not amount, but the same type of connectability with these loops and these fantastic clips. Let's just see what we have inside here. First of all, we're gonna open up this clip. This is where I would keep my flashlight really useful and especially you have to have it when you're staying overnight. I also keep my umbrella here. And this strap is actually really useful because this allows you to use all three bags as their bags in themselves. So you can actually use them around town. They're very stylish looking. They look awesome. So I really recommend you taking advantage of the fact that these are modular. These three bags work amazingly well going around town with this extra strap. Okay, so let's just open up the interior zipper here and I'll show you what I have. Inside I have this light set up. Now what I use this for is if I'm doing photography at night, I really like to have extra lights so I know what I'm doing. As you can see, this type of LED light will fit perfectly on top of my Nikon, like so. I can have it backwards or forwards, and this simply allows me to, I don't know, work on exposure or whatever, see what I'm, if I put it forward facing, I can actually see what I'm photographing or at least where I'm focusing. And of course, this is the iPhone clip and I can clip this like so. There's so many different ways. I do have an iPhone tripod now or an Android tripod, whatever you use. Now, the reason why I keep this with me is because there's so many times for social media or whatever, I'd want to actually get a shot of me, for example, in the environment. And this little tripod, this travel tripod works great because I can set my iPhone to a 10 second timer. I can get in the shot and there we go. Also, incredible amount of space in here. We have the download card reader. We have an extra power supply for my iPhone and an extra mini hard drive and some extra SD cards. So that's what I keep inside here. These bags seem to keep going and going. There's always more to find. Look, an interior zipper. And in here, I keep all of the step up rings. Okay, so here's what it looks like on the inside. It's incredible material. And again, if you so desire, let me pull up the uh, accessories again. From my other bag, the Riker. The cool thing is, is that with, it, because everything's Velcro, see this? There's so many ways that you can add or subtract depending on what you want for your actual photo shoot. So what I'm gonna do is get my assistant Aaron to lay out on the floor here, everything that I packed in the pilot. And it's really quite impressive. I have, of course, the ability to pack stuff into all the three fighter bags, fighter one, fighter two, fighter three. Of course, the main bag has so much space. And of course, we do have anything that can fit or attach to the outside of any of those bags. Now, do you remember that strap that I showed you? This is really, really interesting because let's just say that we only wanna go for a quick street photography session, put this strap on any of the bags and you are good to go. It looks good, it feels good, and it is absolutely tough. So just to wrap up this uh, session, this bag is a winner. I absolutely love it. It's really not heavy, and that's really important because a lot of our gear is heavy, but it's tough. It's made of Cordura. It's a, a fantastically designed canvas material, and it is something that's gonna last potentially my lifetime. So I definitely suggest that the Pilot is for you, and again, it's great for overnights, it's great for backwoods, it's great for just going around in town with your day-to-day -day street photography. So I hope you enjoyed that. 
and that you will get many, many long years out of your Wotancraft pilot bag. I know I will. Talk soon. Yeah.